Dollar Tree hacks. That seems to be what's trending here on YouTube lately. Guess what? I'm jumping on the bandwagon and today I'm bringing to you 10 never before seen Dollar Tree organizational hacks that you cannot live without. These are gonna help organize your life just a bit more and boy oh boy are they so satisfying. Welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, well, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube, well, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose, yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. As most of you know, for those of you who have been following me for a while, over this last year, I have really just taken the plunge and I have purged and decluttered my entire house. I thought I was done, but let me tell you, I came across a couple of cabinets and a few areas that I feel like I could fine tune just a bit more. I've got some Dollar Tree organizational hacks, 10 of them to be exact. So I'm gonna quit my gabbin, let's jump into it, and let me show you these life-changing hacks that I think you're absolutely gonna love. You're not gonna wanna miss this. We're gonna start these hacks off here in the garage. This is my new toolbox. It's not horrible, but I feel like it could be better. It kind of makes me a little bonkers because I do want to fine tune it and really get it dialed in. So to do that, we've all seen these utensil holders that you can get at Dollar Tree. They've got them in every color. This black is going to match my garage. Since I've got some OCD, it's all got to kind of be color coordinated. And you can just see how amazing these work in a toolbox in your garage to really separate everything and organize it all. I am loving this and we did that for the bargain price of $2.50 and I've got room to spare. It doesn't get any better than that. You can buy several of these and put them in each of the drawers if you need to. This was just the one that really needed it for me. Moving on, Dollar Tree's got these new organizing bins by Jot. These are out for school. These are for school supplies. You're getting five for $1.25. I am, I'm using them as they are intended to be used, but I'm using them in my office cabinets. Would you look at how amazing this has made my office cabinet look? These are such a great item, such a great buy for $1.25. Getting those five bins, you pick up a couple, and look at that, so satisfying. I also use them in my bathrooms as well. Got some of the cute colored ones that I didn't mind being in the bathrooms and just kind of fine tune these drawers as well. Next up, this coffee caddy here in my kitchen. I wouldn't say that this looks horrible, but I feel like it could look better. I feel like with all the great containers that Dollar Tree has that I can really fine tune this and get it nice and dialed in. So when I headed on over to the Dollar Tree, I found these great new storage containers. These are plastic, they are BPA free. There is a sticker on them that says so. So with these, I picked up eight of these for this caddy. Yeah, eight, because I knew that these containers would be perfect for all of my coffee grounds. I do drink Starbucks. I like different flavors, so depending on the day is what I choose to drink. These containers are perfect for the coffee grounds. They will fit one of these coffee ground bags that is this size perfectly if it is full. You saw I only had half a bag for this one, and so I've got plenty of room to fill it up. But because I have eight different flavors in this caddy, that's why I picked up eight containers and each of these containers is gonna have a different flavored coffee. Once I was in it putting my coffee grounds in, I realized I didn't much like the white tops, so I decided to go in with some of Rust-Oleum's metallic paint. This is a spray paint and primer all-in-one in the color of flat brushed amber. 
I am so much happier with how they look now that they've got a good coating of that spray paint. I feel like it just blends in more with the caddy and my decor there in the kitchen. Fear not, yes, I am labeling these. I am labeling them using vinyl. Now, you can just buy Dollar Tree vinyl and make your own labels using a permanent marker if you want. Since I've got my Cricut, I went ahead and used my Cricut premium vinyl that I already had in my stash. This is a removable matte vinyl, and I will tell you that a matte finish is definitely the way to go. Don't use a gloss finish because the marker just doesn't tend to stick as well to it. And because I do have a Cricut and my Cricut uses a pen and does the writing, I don't much like my writing. I am using one of the Cricut permanent markers to do the writing. If you use a regular Cricut marker, the ink will wipe off. So you have to go the permanent marker wrap. And this is not a sponsored video. This is just me using my Cricut for these labels because I've got it, so why not? But like I said, if you don't have a Cricut, you can still use the vinyl. You can cut circle tags, square tags, and you can just use a Sharpie to label your, I guess, coffee or whatever it is that you wanna label. I do wanna show you that you can run your finger over them and the marker doesn't smear or rub off. What I love about using the vinyl labels versus stickers is that you can easily wipe them down and they're gonna hold up a bit longer. I love the way that this turned out. Yeah, I ran out of spray paint and Walmart doesn't have any more of that spray paint for that white lid. So that's just gonna be left for a different day, but I couldn't be happier with the way this caddy turned out. I am so happy and I feel like my coffee is gonna stay fresher now for longer. And here we have a side-by-side -side of the before and after. Yes, so inexpensive. This was under $10 for me to do and it is so satisfying because it looks so much better. Next up, how many of you have a refrigerator, a stainless steel one that has the water dispenser and the water drips down, making streaks on your stainless steel? Tell me that's not frustrating, right? Dollar Tree's got these microfiber cloths, one of my new favorite finds a few hauls ago, that are the perfect solution to this dilemma. And it is a dilemma. Just by taking one of these microfiber cloths, folding it neatly and placing it there where the dispenser is, it is going to catch any drips, any spills, and prevent it from dripping down your refrigerator. I don't mind it. Next up, my spice cabinet. As I once thought that this was organized and I was happy with how this looked, I have come to realize that again, it is one of those things that could look better with just a little bit of fine tuning. Oh my word, I am so excited to dive into this one because the outcome was amazing. Wait for it. Dollar Tree's got these great jars. These are nothing new. They come in a couple of different styles or different spout styles, I guess I should say. So I picked up several of these. And when I say several, I'm not kidding. I picked up several because I transferred the contents of each of the spice bottles into these. What was once miscellaneous bottles is now a nice cohesive matching bottle set. Amazing, right? Because I reorganized this cabinet, I even had more room for my teas. I'm a big tea drinker, a no caffeine tea. And so I found these containers here at Michael's that I thought were perfect for these tea bags. They are, right? These are a food safe container that you can get at Michael's for 99 cents. They are in those dollar bins that they've got right there by the registers. When I saw these, I knew that they would be perfect for these tea bags. This is the brand tea bag or teas that I drink. One box fits in one container, one new box. Perfect, right? So using those labels and my vinyl, I went ahead and labeled each of them so I know what tea is in each container. Michaels even has these rounder ones here that I thought would be perfect. Truth be told, I kind of bought them out of the square ones. 
These work perfect for these spiced apple cider tea bags that come in the individual fun bags. Thought this was perfect, I'm gonna make it work. And so I did, again, I don't have any more spray paint, otherwise I would have painted it. I like a cold tea or a cold brew tea. And so I went ahead and bought these BPA free containers also at Michael's that worked perfect for my tea bags and I couldn't be happier with how this looks now. Oh my word, and I feel like my tea's gonna stay fresher. Dollar Tree also has these salt and pepper shakers. These are great, you're getting two for $1.25. So I used these smaller seasonings. You get these smaller seasonings in any brand name by McCormick or whichever brand it is. I typically buy Great Value brand because I'm not gonna spend extra money for a brand name seasoning. And would you look at how perfectly one jar fits one container? You may need two if you buy a new bottle of seasoning, but would you look at how nice that looks? I am so happy. I even did it with my extracts as well. I did, why not? I wanted everything to look cohesive. Now some may say, Kelly, how did you close up the lid? Again, I just used my vinyl label and on the inside i used a blank label and really sealed off the cap really enclosing my extracts giving me again let's say it a good uniform cohesive look in my spice cabinet here at the top i did find that i had some of those bigger containers that i do buy at costco we all know which ones these are montreal seasoning great on tri-tip right these by Grill Masters are a bit too big to use those smaller containers. So I did buy the same containers that I used for my coffee, labeled them, and it fit one full bottle, I guess. And I did put one in one of these as well, just so I had it, it was easier. Hi, Biza. Hi, big boy, you're so cute. Look at him. I just love my doodles. They're keeping me company. There again, here we go. I covered it with a label. I'm just gonna open these up and use measuring spoons when I need to dispense it. I've never really been one who sprinkled my seasonings anyway, so covering up the holes isn't an issue to me because I prefer just to use a measuring spoon anyway. Now, if you don't wanna do that, an alternative, this is Ali's Butter Popcorn Seasoning. You can put Saran Wrap inside, then go ahead and take the lid and close it as well. And of course, if you're gonna do that, just go ahead and cut off the excess saran wrap just to make it look a bit neater. And when you do need to use it, you're gonna have to unscrew it, take the saran wrap off to sprinkle it. That's way too much work. Oh no, no, but look, it gets the job done and your seasoning's gonna stay fresh. Shall we take a look at before and after side by side? Look at how amazing that looks. The fine tuning was just what this cabinet needed. I couldn't be happier with the outcome of this. Those jars work perfectly for this. Next tack is using these Dollar Tree doormats. These are nothing new, we've all seen them. They've got some plain ones. They've got them in black and a dark gray. Black is the way to go. Why would you use a blank plain doormat such as this one here when you can very easily with a little bit of DIYing make a decorative one? You can make more than one. You can make several. You can make one for each season if you wanted to using some stencils and chalk paint. The chalk paint I'm using today is this chalk paint here by Waverly. Chalk paint is definitely the way to go because just a basic apple barrel acrylic paint is not going to get the job done unless you have days to do this because it's gonna take several days to put several coats on it to get the coverage that you need. When, if you use a chalk paint, you're gonna get the job done in about one to two coats. Using a stiffer paintbrush or a stencil brush, which I don't seem to have on hand, so I'm using a stiffer paintbrush. It's gonna get the job done by dabbing the paint on the stencil. You don't wanna brush it on because you will get bleedage. So just by simply dabbing on the paint, you are going to get the coverage you need. So when you take these stencils off, wait for it. Would you look at how satisfying that is? You peel it off and the bleedage is very minimal. Now, if you do buy a black 
doormat, you can very easily take a black chalk paint and clean up any edges that you may have had some bleedage on. Last tack is using one of Dollar Tree's plungers. Yep, it's a toilet plunger and I've got a hack for you that you are going to love. This is an oldie but a goodie. Who says the plungers are only good for plunging a toilet? Taking some of Dollar Tree's decorative nautical rope, you're gonna need about two of these for this DIY hack. I'm gonna wrap this plunger with rope covering up the fact that it's a plunger. Only we're gonna know it's a plunger because of the shape, right? Once we've got that plunger good and wrapped with the decorative nautical rope, I'm gonna take some of Dollar Tree's floral pieces. These are some of my favorite spring pieces. And I'm gonna add a floral bunch here to the bottom, kind of shushing up our plunger, because why not? We're so not done yet. You're gonna take some of those scraps or you're gonna grab another bunch of that decorative nautical rope and we're gonna make what's going to be a stopper here right above the floral bunch. So you should be left with something that looks just like this. Yes, a stopper right there. Looks nice, right? What are we gonna use this for? Yes, this is going to be a toilet paper holder. How sticking cute is that? What a fun hack is this? It's gonna stand up nicely. You can hold two to three, no, you can hold three rolls of toilet paper on one plunger. Guess what else you can use this for? If you really wanna get creative and have a fun piece in your bathroom, you can use it for none other than paper towel. Ha, right? Some might say, why would I want paper towel? on a plunger, but this is a plunger stand. It's a paper towel holder or a toilet paper holder. So why not? When you put it in your bathroom, look at that. You've got a nice, fun farmhouse piece that people are really gonna get a kick out of when they see it. They're gonna love this idea. They're gonna think it's genius and they're gonna do it too. I hope you all enjoy some of the organizational hacks that I brought to you. I tell you that spice cabinet is so satisfying. There are times, I'm not even kidding you, when I walk by and I just open it up because I love how clean it looks. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy everything on a budget. Happy organizing on a budget. Stay, oh, that's Winnie. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody.